and Abner Mars. How excited are you about that fight if it happens? I'm uh, very excited. Uh, those are the fighters that fans want to squash. Uh, he's a great Mexican fighter. I'm a Mexican fighter. I we both come forward, so I think it's going to be a great war in the, in the middle of the ring. If you move up to 26, Lomachenko, uh, Mares, uh, you got, uh, of course, uh, the guy from Jamaica, Walter, Walter. you have uh, uh, Kenny Bradovich. A lot of, it's a busy division. Yeah, but that's what we want. We want to fight the best. Uh, uh, when you fight the best, it brings the best in you too. So I think those are the fights I want to look for because I want to get known as a great fighter that beat the best and that's what I want to do. You're back on, on January 17th. Is there any uh, word on who your opponent might be yet? No, I, don't, I still don't have no word on the opponent. But whoever it is, I'm ready. I've been training really hard and whoever it is, I'm ready for anyone. Leo, if you had to fight a Mayweather's on the card, would you want to fight in the undercard of Mayweather Pacquiao or Mayweather Khan? Which do you like best? Uh, Mayweather Pacquiao. I think Why? That's the, that's the Biggest fight uh, right now to all the fans want to watch it, so I think millions of people are going to be watching it more than they will watch Mayweather against Khan. So, what happens in the ring when Mayweather and Pacquiao fight? Uh, a, lot of fan, a lot of people watching, so I think that gives more exposure to me, so I could get more known and a lot of fans could get to know me. No, no, but what about Mayweather and Pacquiao? How do you break oh. it down? Who wins? Oh, yeah, Mayweather and Pacquiao, I think it's a great fight for both, but I think Mayweather's going to be too smart. He's, he's really slick and everything. He's not going to let Pacquiao catch him with good punches, and I think he's going to be counter-punching him, and he'll beat him. January 17, you, I know you don't know your opponent yet, but do you know if you're going to be fighting at 126 or 122 in that fight? I'm going to be fighting 122. I think uh, I'm going to defend the title. Uh, they're looking right now, I think, uh, to where the good opponents in the rank, in the top 10, so I think any of those fighters are going to be... And will that one definitely be your last fight at 122, or are you still considering your options after that? No, I, I think that's going to be my probably my last fight at 122, and then I think they said that after this one, everything goes good, it's going to be against Madrid. So I think, I don't know if I'm going to go to 126, but I think they're going to make it 124. Okay. Uh, in the past year, because you were at 122, there were, there were so much talk about you fighting Crafton, fighting G Rigandau, all these fights. Are those fights kind of in the past for you right now? Are you looking towards more like Mares and maybe moving up? Or are those fights still a possibility for you? Uh, there's a possibility, but right now since uh, Prime he's got a mandatory against Avalos, and then Scott he injured his hand, so I think he's off into like late in the middle of the year. So right now, right now though, I think it's more possible against Mares, and then maybe then. Okay, so those, those fights yeah. are still there yeah, for you possibly? Still, still there, yeah. What did you think of Mares' fight against Ramirez? A uh, great fight. Uh, he looked strong. He looked way better than uh, last fight. And then I think the tr he, he didn't move that much. And he threw more punches and he looked stronger. A fight between you and Mares, you think that belongs in L.A.? I mean, you guys both have such big fan bases in Southern California. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's where we're from, from L.A. And I think the Sepo Center, uh, that'll be a great fight right there in the Sepo Center. And I think gonna, the Sepo Center will get filled. Any last message for the fans out there? Yeah, no, like, thank you for all the support. Keep supporting me. We're going to keep training hard to give you guys great fights and that we're gonna be hopefully you guys enjoy hey, I gotta ask you one last question Rigandau are you tired of hearing his name already do you still want that fight I know you get asked all the time but the fans are still always talking about that what, what do you say to people that want to see that fight what do you say to the fans uh, people think that I don't want to fight him but I'm scared but it doesn't depend on just on me I want to fight him I already said like a lot of times I want to fight him and, but it's up to the promoters to the, for them to come into an agreement and if they want it if they make it I'm willing whenever they want it. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Leo, I didn't recognize...